Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm using a nice big, uh, about four and a half inches wide stone. Uh, and I am painting the surface of it black because we are going to do another dotted stone like my hope stone, only this one is going to say pride. And there is going to be sparkling big letters and a rainbow of dots in the background. Um, this time we're not going to be uh, doing an ombre effect. It's almost going to be like a flag. So you're going to see the strict lines of color behind this, this word. You will be able to see the lettering a lot better once I fill it in with white. I'm going to do two coats of white paint on the letters so that it's nice bright white. Then I will be covering that white paint in hologram 2796. That way it sparkles like diamonds and it just goes nicely with the rainbow that we will be putting in the background. I'm very excited. I love anything with color. A lot of the hashtags I, I use for the last couple of years is I love color. So if you put in hashtag I love color, you will see a lot of my stones. <laughs> I love color. It just makes me happy. That's why there's so much color involved in each one of my stones, I guess. I learned that about myself as I went along. Um, it just makes me happy to paint in color. I do like painting in black and white as well. Um, but not nearly as much as I like uh, incorporating as many colors as possible into one stone. <laughs> Sometimes people say I go overboard, but I like it. So I'm using my fine lining brush uh, tutorial for that on my channel as well. If you want to make your brush as skinny and teeny weeny as mine, um, I have some tips and tricks that I use. And I don't go and purchase expensive paintbrushes ever. Um, I don't want to, and you don't have to either. So if you want to see how I do it, check out my channel for my fine lining brush. I also have a blending brush that I, I use um, that I've DIY'd myself, so take a look at it. And also, I will be resining this stone. It, I will be sealing it with art resin. It's non-toxic. Um, it makes it look like a glass surface when you're done sealing it. Um, and it's gorgeous. So if you want to know how to do it, where to buy it, the tutorial will be in the description of this video or on my channel. Uh, and the art resin information where I buy it. I buy it on Amazon. Um, on the Zon. And you can probably find it in a lot of different places depending on where you are. But I know here in Canada, I just go to Amazon.ca and it is there. Any information, including the colors of paint that I'm using, um, a, the hologram paint, it will all be in the description. And you don't have to use the same colors as me. You don't have to use the same lettering as me. Um, you don't even have to put the same word as me. You can put peace. You can put love. You can put happy. You can put color. You can whatever you want. I put pride. And you will see with the dots, like we did with the Hope Stone recently. I believe I posted it on Friday. Um, I will be doing the same technique starting with big dots and going around with small dots using uh, toothpicks and dotting tools and it's very similar. I have a couple of stones that have a word like hope or lucky and then they're dotted like crazy. So you can take a look at those videos as well if you're struggling with the dotting part. I've sped this up quite a bit just because these tutorials take me a long time to edit and um, I wanted to make sure that I could get two up for you again today. So I'm going as quickly as possible. So I apologize for those of you who wish I would slow it down a little so that you could paint along with me. I'm really sorry for that. Um, I wish I had more time to be able to do that. But unfortunately, in order to give you guys two fantastic, colorful rainbow stones to work on today. I had to speed this one up 
slightly. But it's the same technique as my Hope Stone. I start off with a wave of red. I'm going to do a straight line across of orange. I'm going to move down to yellow and I use the big dotter first, a bigger dot first, and then I go surround all of those big dots with little dots, as you can see that I am doing right now. And just I'm keeping in the same sequence of the pride rainbow, which is red on top, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And you can see that I've kept like a, a line. Usually I try to blend in the colors a little bit more so that there's like a an ombre effect or it's, it's a smooth transition from one color to the next. But this one you're going to see a bold line instead of a color transition. It's just going to be like a dotted flag waving in the wind right behind this nice, big, beautiful, sparkling word, whatever word it is that you decided to use. So I just want to thank all of my subscribers again. I always want to remember you with every single tutorial. You guys are the bomb. I don't know if I should say that, but it's true. You guys are amazing, but you're a bomb in a good way, okay? You are good bombs. You're all good bombs. You all rock. The pun is intended. And I love you. So I just want you guys to know that. And no matter what you're celebrating this month, this month is my anniversary. So this is my month too for love and, and pride and, um, happiness and rainbows. So, um, happy pride month to all of you and anyone who is celebrating graduation, anyone who's celebrating a wedding anniversary, anyone who's getting married, this is your month people and uh, enjoy it as much as you possibly can. So you can see the wave of color behind the word. I've outlined the letters in gold, of course. Sorry if I didn't mention that earlier, but I did outline my letters in gold. And now I'm just doing a dotted frame around the outside, uh, keeping the natural stone background on the back and the color on the front. And here is it sealed in resin. The glitter sparkles like you would not believe and the colors each and every single dot is popping off of that rock in beautiful color. So there you go guys. I hope you loved it. I cut myself off on the last one so I'm going to say it now. I love you. Have an awesome time painting and enjoy the month of June.